12 Bizarre Pictures Explained. Welcome to Crypto Fun Fridays. Number 12. There was a rumor circulating in 2015 that the super rich were buying weird creatures that were human canine hybrids at $50 million a pop. It was on the internet, so it must be true, right? Well, the rumor was false. We think, anyway. The buzz got started by this picture. While the creepy creatures do look unnervingly real, this is actually the work of an Australian artist named Patricia Piccinini, who specializes in hyperrealistic sculptures. Don't feel bad if you were fooled. Many people were. Number 11. Spider Scarecrow. Is this some huge mutant spider on the loose? Some sort of Photoshop wizardry? No, and no. It's actually a topiary creation by a company called Topiary Art Designs, based in Suffolk in the UK. The company specializes in creative designs, and they obviously think big, as you can see in this photo by John Goldsmith. The giant spider is actually constructed out of wicker. Well, if nothing else, it would make for an awesome scarecrow. Number 10. Nice rack. What do you think? Is the rack on this deer real or is it photoshopped? If you said real, you're right. This buck was photographed around Colorado Springs in 2011 and caught the fancy of photographers and wildlife watches. This picture by Mike Serafin depicts an example of non-typical antler growth. The condition can be triggered by physical damage. Say, if the buck has damaged the area where its antlers grow, they can form in a non-typical fashion. Genetics can also play a role, as can hormone levels and bodily injury. Number nine. Hook Island Sea Monster. A French photographer snapped this picture off the coast of Queensland, Australia in 1964. The photographer, Robert Le Sarek, claimed it was approximately 75 to 80 feet long and had pale green eyes and smooth black skin. While it did resemble a snake-like creature apparently at rest on the sea floor, some claimed the creature had been wounded by a ship's propeller. It aggressively opened its mouth, estimated at three feet wide, then fled the area. Some people think the creature's description matches the extinct Mastodonosaurus, which was a huge amphibian that measured nearly 16 feet long and lived around 200 million years ago. It was known for its flattened triangular head, not unlike what you see with the Hook Island Sea Monster. So far, no reasonable explanation has been found for this picture, but some people are convinced it was all an elaborate prank staged by Robert Le Sarek. So what's your theory? Let us know in the comments. Number 8. A 32-foot-long sea animal was found on the shores of Coney Island by Dr. Takeshi Yamada in 2007. It was the first time a real sea serpent was actually found with its carcass intact and was later displayed at the American Museum of Natural History in Manhattan. Dr. Yamada's photo stoked a lot of debate and controversy. For the record, Dr. Yamada is what's known as a rogue taxidermist. That is, he uses organic and inorganic materials to create fake creatures, including the snake-like creature in this picture. Number 7. St. Augustine Monster. We'll take the Wayback Machine to the year 1896 when a huge unidentified carcass was washed ashore near St. Augustine, Florida. Initially thought to have been some sort of giant octopus, it was nothing so exotic. It was actually what we today would call a globster most often the remains of a whale. Analysis conducted in 1995 showed the St. Augustine monster was likely the remains of a sperm whale. So why include this old globster? Chalk it up to tradition. They always pop up on these lists. Number six, all ears. This picture ran in the Daily Mail in 2013, showing a rabbit with ears that were longer than its entire body. The picture was taken by photographer John Daniels, who specializes in animal photography. So far as we can tell, the big ears weren't photoshopped, and there's no evidence from the article that would indicate as such. Do you believe those ears are real? Give us an earful in the comments. Number five. The Daily Mail published a video in 2015 that supposedly showed pterosaur flying over Boise, Idaho. Pterosaurs were flying reptiles that existed some 228 to 66 million years ago. The video seems to show a creature with a huge wingspan and the species' distinctive backwards pointing crest. You can make out some of that detail in this still captured from the video. You can see it flapping its wings a few times and gliding through the sky before flying out of range. Could it really be genuine? 
genuine? Well, there are lots of people who think it's just a result of bad special effects, or it could be a drone or even a bat. Any of those suggestions seems more likely than an extinct species coming back to life, right? Number 4. Nessie's Skeleton in 2016, some strange photos appeared on Facebook supposedly depicting the remains of the Loch Ness Monster. The accompanying story went that someone was walking their dog along the Loch Ness shoreline when they stumbled onto the bizarre scene. The images once again stirred up debate about whether or not Nessie actually existed, and if in fact, these could be the monster's remains. The photos turned out to be part of the set for an upcoming TV show, and the original poster is an animal adoption organization that later confessed to the ruse. But we're betting you saw right through that one straight away. Number 3. In 2011, 6,000 birds turned up on Wasaga Beach, Ontario, dead on arrival. What could have killed so many animals? The official cause was listed as botulism poisoning. Botulism infects fish, which in turn infects waterfowl when they eat the prey. There's been a noticeable increase in botulism in the Great Lakes. Scientists say it's due to a combination of factors, including higher levels of bacteria and waters that are gradually warming. Number 2. Trunko. Here's a mystery that persists to this day. Trunko is the nickname of an animal reportedly sighted in 1924 in Margate, South Africa. Reports claim that this animal was fighting two killer whales for three hours. The creature supposedly looked like a polar bear and after fending off its attackers, managed to lift itself out of the water by some 20 feet. Apparently exhausted, it remained beached for 10 days, during which the animal was never investigated by a scientist. Some beachgoers claimed to have measured the animal at 47 feet long, 5 feet high, and 10 feet wide with a trunk measuring 5 feet. It was also said to have white fur and a lobster-like tail. And because the trunk seemed to be directly attached to the animal's torso with no head visible, it was dubbed Trunko. After 10 days, the creature supposedly swam back to the ocean, never to be seen again. Many people think Trunko was just another globster, while others think it may have been some new species of whale. Because the creature was never actually examined or officially identified, the debate will likely continue. Number 1 the Young Family. Recall seeing this image making the rounds online? A story accompanied the picture, purporting that it displayed a creature that was actually a hybrid between a human and a pig, and a lot of people took the fake story as real. But while the story was fake, the picture is not. It does depict a very real sculpture, and if the work looks familiar, well it should. This is another sculpture from Patricia Piccinini that Australian artist who seems to have a knack for making these hyper-realistic oddities. This work is actually called The Young Family and is made from silicone, leather, plywood, polyurethane, and human hair. Hmm. 